Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, Minister, did your Chief of Staff, Zita Stravis, read the issues management note, which was also sent to her? No. I, my understanding is no. Okay. I, I, I wouldn't testify for her, but, but I asked and she said no. Okay. Thank you very much. Minister, for you, Madam Chair, you have had a history uh, over the last two meetings that you've appeared before this committee in providing inaccurate testimony. On June 1st, you said that the issues management note was withheld by you as part of an operational decision by CSIS, which you now concede uh, is not the case, that there was an intent that you uh, see that issues management note. Uh, you said in answer to a question that I posed to you that the issues management note had not been sent to you, even though I have a redacted copy of the issues management note that clearly indicates that it was sent to you. The fact that you didn't read it, the fact that it went into a big black hole, is an entirely different matter, Minister. And Madam Chair, Minister, you uh, seem to make a big deal about accessing a secure terminal. Uh, you cited that this would have been transmitted to a secure terminal in the Deputy Minister of Public Safety's office. Can you confirm that your office and the Deputy Minister's office at which this secure terminal is located are at the 19th floor of 269 Laurier? I don't know where the secure terminal is, but Mr. Cooper, if, if I wrote you a letter and wrote your name on the letter and then put it back in my briefcase and never told you the letter existed and never showed it to you and give, didn't give you access to my briefcase, I think we could assume that you didn't know that I'd written you the letter. Minister, you mean to tell me you don't know where the secure terminal is on the same floor as your office uh, in the deputy minister's office? How is that, is that, is that an answer that lends itself confidence on the part of Canadians that you had a grip on fulfilling your responsibilities and receiving information in this case on a matter of high importance involving a member of parliament who was being targeted by Beijing. Really, Minister? Yeah, really, Mr. Cooper. Really, Mr. Cooper, that office was not, that terminal is, is on the other side of the building. I do not have access to it. I, I do not have any access to it, and I don't know precisely where it's located because, frankly, if I knew where it was located, I might have been given access to it. Well, Minister, I'm glad I, you've now discovered where it is. Uh, but, but, Minister, uh, had you not thought to go down the hall did you, had you, you, you talk about this expectation, an expectation that led to this issues management note going into a big black hole. Uh, had you directed your officials to bring to your attention issues management notes on matters of high importance that were addressed to you? Did you ever instruct them to bring those memos to your attention? Uh, I mean, how, how is it possible? I mean, how, how can you be told? Do you, do you have to be told? to read documents that are sent to your attention? Do you have to be told by officials before you bother to do so? Mr. Cooper, just to be really clear, I have to be advised that, that there is a memo that needs to be read, and it was not in this case. The, dire the director did not advise me, and every other circumstances, and I had that job for two years, in every other circumstances, the director would notify my office that he had top secret information that he needed to convey to me. He would convene a meeting that I would attend in a secure facility, and that information would be shared. That did not happen in this case. And on, there were a few other occasions, twice, by the way, in that month, where I was actually asked to go down to the Toronto office. That Again, that information was not shared. And, and so, I, I have no way of minister, asking or demanding to, be, to see a note I don't know exists. Minister, does your staff have to tell you to read your emails? Does your staff have to tell you to check your text messages? I mean, right here, and, it was and, sent and again, to you. Now, Minister... And Mr. Cooper, uh, minister, you're confused about what is I'm, uh, 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 I'm pausing. Do you accept the principle of ministerial responsibility? And absolutely. And uh, consistent with that, do you accept that the buck stops with you as minister? Not your officials, not the director of CSIS, with you. I believe in responsibility, and I believe taking responsibility means fixing things that, that don't go well in your department. And in this case, that information was not shared, and it should have been. And so t steps have been taken now to remedy that. And, and you have spent this entire meeting throwing the director of CSIS under the bus, throwing uh, your deputy minister under the bus. Everyone is responsible 
but you, Minister. Minister, you failed, and you failed colossally. Mr. Mr. Cooper, I, I simply disagree with your characterization. I, I am not throwing anyone under the bus. I'm explaining what happened, and in this case, what did not happen that should have happened. 